Hello, this is Christina coming to you from Sunny California and my kitchen corner. Today I would like to share with you the in and out tag that was um, created by the lovely Rochelle from Cheap and Green. She has tagged me and a group of other lovely ladies from YouTube to participate in this tag and this is called the in and out tag. She's asking that we feature five items or more that we brought into our home and then also to show five items that we are willing to take out of our home. And in my case, these are my five items. I, um, I'm going to be showing you items that were given to me, items that were bought at the thrift store, and one item that I bought at the supermarket. So I'm going to start to my left. And the first one is a loose strand lufa um, we call these estropajos in spanish and this is what it looks like and what i did is i i um, pulled it out in sections and one of these made me like six of these and we use them in in the shower and the bathtub to scrub our bodies instead of using the uh, washcloth and it also exfoliates um, the dead skin off, off of your body when you're using this. We also use it in the kitchen and I'm using this in my kitchen right now. This cost me a dollar at the supermarket. The first item I'm gonna show you is this um, glass lid that my sister bought me for 48 cents. The next item is, um, is this package of two wooden containers and this one is for the coffee and this is for the sugar and it's in Spanish. It has this burnt carving on the side of it and it's like a flower. Then it says coffee in Spanish and the other one says sugar and I really like this. Then you just pick up your lid and you have your spoon here where you can um, spoon out the coffee or the sugar. I paid $2.50 for this. Um, it was 50% off and they were brand spanking new. Look at this. Beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful and it's all wood. So I'm quite happy with this. The next item, it's a little scene from a kitchen, a Mexican kitchen that has all the things that a, a Mexican kitchen would have. And I paid $2 for this because it was $3.98. My next item is this tortilla basket. My sister-in-law brought me this from Mexico and uh, for the tortillas. It has this beautiful colorful embroidery on it and then it, it's like it um, it almost mimics a sombrero or a Mexican hat and I really like it. Look at those beautiful colors. The orange, the yellow, the green, another green, uh, pinks, reds, purples. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then it has these little details of uh, raffia, little flowers on there. The next item is this Mexican embroidered tea towel that she also brought me from Michoacan uh, from when the last time she went to Mexico. And it is just beautiful. Look at this. It has a, um, this embroidered um, basket with the flowers and it's just lovely I just love it so there you go these are my five items that I brought in next I will be showing you five items that are gonna be leaving my home okay so I'm back these are the items that I'm gonna take out of my house for the in and out tag and I'm gonna start to my left um, the first items are um, streamers I purchased a bag of uh, um, just odd and ends for the thrift shop for like a dollar or two and these items came out and these are not items that I decorate with so I'm just gonna let them go and here is a um, candle and there are a bunch of little pears and I have a thing for pears but I've had this already for about a year and I haven't burnt it and I will not burn it because we have smelling issues here in my house and everybody will start complaining if I turn candles on. Um, some glasses that belong to my husband and I'm going to have a free box at a um, yard sale that I'm going to hold and these are items that I'm just going to put in there. The next items are these plates. So if I can get um, 
25 cents for them. And then I have these four coffee cups from Coca-Cola. And then I have <laughs> three forks. I don't know how that happened. I guess the other forks were taken out at the last yard sale. And this is a uh, little figurine that my um, friend Mariana gave me. I'm going to ask my sister if she wants it for her little girl. And so that she can put it in her room. Some Christmas cards. I already have so many Christmas cards that I'm willing to let these go. Even if I'm going to give them away. I don't mind. I want someone else to enjoy them. I bought this um, Joy sign. I bought it for a dollar and I've never used it so it's time to let it go. I'm going to let this clock go. And uh, I've had it for over a year already. It's time for someone else to enjoy it. And in one of those bags that I was telling you about that I bought um, a big bag. These came out in them. These um, two packages of um, prints came out and um, this is not my style so I'm just going to let it go so someone else can enjoy it. And it has different scenes as you can see here. Um, this is a happy graduation party tape and I'm going to give this to my neighbor. I'm going to put this in the free box if so that some little kid can enjoy it. I'm going to give these to my brother-in-law. And then for um, the 4th of July, I made these garlands of pom-poms. There's three of them, and each of them measure about um, a yard. Then I have two um, banners, like miniature banners. Now this, I don't know if I can sell this. I was thinking maybe get a dollar. If not, I'll put it in the free box and let someone enjoy it. I'm going to like wrap it around on a bigger piece of carton so that they can see what it is. And this summer we have been working on puzzles and I get them at the thrift shop for super cheap. And so as soon as um, they're working on this one here, but on these other ones, we have already made them and we're ready to let them go. So I buy a big bag of um, puzzles for about a dollar, dollar fifty, and um, sometimes fifty cents. We make the puzzle and then we you know we put it back in the box, make sure all the pieces are there, and then um, either they're going back to the thrift shop or I'm going to sell them at the yard sale. Or if any of my nieces and nephews want them. They can have them. So, yeah. And there's some really nice um, puzzles. And this is a 3D puzzle. And it was still in the wrapper. Original wrapper was new. And they already worked on it. And um, they completed it. So I told them I was going to take a picture for a video. And so I still have it on my table. I'm going to try to sneak that picture in. And this one brand new cost us I think $2.50 or $3 and we paid full price on that because that day that color was not on sale but since it was a new puzzle we decided to splurge on it. If you are watching this video tag you're it and now it's your turn to make a video. Please make sure to contact Rochelle so that she can add you to her playlist. I would like to thank Rochelle from Cheap and Green for tagging me. I'll be linking below Rochelle's channel and her playlist. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I would appreciate it.